What if I told you you were a samurai in a past life? Or a sailor aboard a Spanish galleon? Or even a Cheyenne on the great plains of North America? Would you believe me? Or think I'm crazy? What if I then told you you were being hunted? That a long forgotten foe has tracked you across lifetimes to lay claim to your soul? Would you trust me with your life? Well, this is the deadly predicament our heroine Jenna faces when a mysterious boy called Phoenix intervenes in an attack on her in The Soul Hunters, my new supernatural action thriller series for young male and female readers. Now, the idea for The Soul Hunters actually originated with my nan when she told me a story about her visit to an old stately home when she was a child. She'd never been to this stately home before, but she recognised the place. She knew her way around it without ever having visited there before. She even knew there was a water closet hidden behind one of the walls in the room. And the lady there said, well, that's impossible. There's no water closet there. When the curator said it had been blocked off over a hundred years ago. Now, my nan was a sensible, very logical minded sort of person. And the experience really threw her. It seems that she'd been there before, but not in that life. Now, I'm guessing some of us wish we could be in another life at this moment. With lockdown, schools and bookshops are closed. So as an author, I've had to adapt and reincarnate my shows for the virtual world. And I'd like to invite you to my author lockdown visit. It's a short 10 minute show where you're going to get exclusive reading for my books. And there's a competition to win signed copies of all my books and a full virtual visit for your school. So please share this resource and go to the homepage of the soulprophecy.co.uk. Now, if I was to sum up this book, I'd say think Terminator meets Highlander meets Lara Croft. Just remember, death is only the beginning.